yellow, this is not a spring chicken. You know, when everybody's trying to eat healthier, they're trying to throw something together. I know one of the things that's my favorite when I go to a Mexican restaurant is a taco salad. This is something you can easily make at home, yes, but you can also make it a bit healthier than you might typically find. So, of course, we have, this is one of my favorite chips. Um, Trader Joe's, this is a veggie and flaxseed tortilla chips. Usually we just get the flaxseed ones, but now we have veggie and flaxseed tortilla chips. And the flaxseed actually tastes pretty decent. I'm actually kind of surprised, especially with salsa or hot sauce or something like that. So the first thing is, is it starts with a good chip. If you don't have a good chip, mm -hmm. then you might as well not be making tortillas. That and, long. and we've cut back on the salt on all of this one too by doing what we're doing. Well, this is um, it's 500 milligrams of omega threes per serving, and it's a good source of fiber. Yeah. It says the veggie chips in here are carrot and tomato, spinach and garlic. Bread, beet, and onion. In other words, it's good for you to taste actually good. So. Yeah, and you don't have to use this one. Um, we just happen to be well, using it. It's your it own choice on the chips on the bottom. Oh, you know what else has a, a really good one? It, uh, those, um, the guacamole chips. Oh, yeah. Like well, we were debating about that. When those we are the, very good. Yeah. But I haven't like these flaxseed ones are really pretty good. And the sodium content on here is 2%. Which is actually... Pretty low. Yeah, well, it's really low compared. That's why we also don't have a prepared salsa because salsa has salt in it. Mm -hmm. And salt is going to be banned in this country soon, so. So the next thing on here is salad. So you can use any salad. This happens to be fresh salad, uh, fresh express iceberg garden. And one of the things I'll tell you is even if they are pre washed. They said wash them now. Well, I always wash them before anyway. I always thought it was a really good idea. So wash them anyway. And, see, part of it is you could choose, actually, my hands are clean. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those ones, you could be proper, and you could use the silverware, but it's easiest just to kind of use your hands. Yeah. Okay? So put in a little bit of that. Over here, we have beans. We happen to have... Black beans. Yes, refried black beans, which are always very good. And over here we have sausage, and you could always use ground meat. Actually, most of the times they use ground meat. You can make know. it turkey. Or but this we're doing because we actually are using the rest of the stuff that's not being used in another dish. So That's what they So do. we're, no, well, unless it gets all used. But the idea is to be cook and use your, you know, and cook, it, cook and use leftovers is what we do. I mean, everything you see there is actually leftovers. So part of it is we're going to put these. Now, I don't, does it make much difference whether you put the beans first or the... I would probably put the beans first. You think so? Does, oh, I think that was a bird that hit the window. Well, that hit the window hard, Boy, didn't it? Right. I don't know. We got the money. Now, beans. remember, all this gets mixed up in your stomach anyway. Yeah. It's just a matter of, um, you know, you want to get this stuff on. And I'm not too concerned about utilizing a different spoon for this because well that's actually that's starting to look better than I thought <laughs> oh I always love taco salad yeah we'll hold in that one and of course you have you know, we cut it actually, up actually if we put if we put the cheese on first put the cheese on melt. first because it will melt and then we put the other stuff but now, one of the things, my favorite is those Mexican-style blend cheese. Oh, those are, are really good. great, yeah. And yeah, and those are easy because you just sprinkle those on top. We don't have any right now, so we're just going to use plain old sharp cheddar. Yeah, because it's, it's it's really a nice cheddar to eat. Yeah. And it's also the one ch one that we have, other than the really expensive stuff, which we haven't ever opened. <laughs> okay, as I discovered, when you buy a real expensive, great cheese, you have a tendency to leave it set there. Well, yeah, because you don't want your, like, savoring it yeah. or hoarding it. Okay. Yes. So by putting this on top of the hot food, then your cheese might melt just a little bit. Yeah. Because if you've got these other things... They would cool it down. I don't... Uh, you know what? We don't have any salsa out here. Uh, salsa or sour no, cream. No, but we didn't have salsa because we didn't... The salsa is full of um, salt. Oh, so we just right. made our own condiments. So we're just, we're just putting these on top. Yeah, we're trying to get ready for a low sodium. Actually, 
We're trying not to add all the salt stuff, but have it still taste good. So yeah. There's, there's the trick. You, you know, you, you do something, make it natural. You're not going to really notice the fact there's not as much salt in this one. This is going to be really good. Now, we did bring out some chili sauce. We've got some salsa here. Um, Vinny's Volcano Sauce. Boy, that does look good. Okay. Vinny's Volcano Sauce. And... The Fire Monkey hot sauce has finally evolved, and this is by PirateSauce.com. I thought we, we had the, uh, an open Fire Monkey before. Oh, you know what? It does look like it's open, because there's a little bit less. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, this we did get from a gifting suite. One, um, I'm trying to, I think this was from um, Connected Gift Rooms. Yeah. From the gifting suite. And this one is Down Under Barrier Reef Chili Lemon, Lime, and Chili Sauce. I think I ended up getting it in one of the gifting suite uh, yep. VIP bags. So part of it is, is now here's the fun part, I'll, oh actually maybe I should prepare this for me because I'm not a big lover of really hot stuff. Yeah. I, I was going to make it for the people out there that really like hot stuff yeah, and we, kind of delight in putting all the hot stuff on there. Well, we, we had uh, hot stuff for two days at the Toyota Grand Prix which was really hot. Well this is kind of good. This is down under Barrier Reef Lemon Lime and Chili Sauce. Yeah. Which has got the citrus as well as the spicy. So even though this is from down under, yeah. we're making Mexican food. And those are chili. Like those are chili peppers that are on the thing also. Oh, this is good. good I food. know. I know. I'm getting hungry. So. Okay. So here, here it is, all nice presentation style. Oh, if you want to have it so it's all mixed up, what you can do is mix everything up and leave the chips all by itself and then mix everything up and then put it on top. That is one of our better looking dishes. Okay, so we're going to see how hot and spicy this one is. I didn't make it really hot and spicy. Part of it is, is the secret in this are the individual ingredients. Because if any of the ingredients are really not very good, you're hoping that it won't taste as bad. But if you start with all really good ingredients, yeah. it's going to taste good. Mm. Because they're fresh onions, fresh mm. fresh peppers, fresh tomatoes. That's made, you know, the beans were just made before we started cooking, so. Mm. Mm. Yep, she likes it. Mm. She, she, she loves her own cooking, though. I'll tell you, bon appetit.